Yeah, good day everyone. You asked for it. Uh, Cetro's Kitchen is here live on Cetro's blog. Mr. Cetro, the Kokoriku, the Coca is here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you? Where are you? Come up, come up, come up. <laughs> good day everyone. This is Dasado, the most handsome, yekebo, African nations, Ephesi, Pamo, Asban. And I am in the Ephesi African kitchen. <laughs> this is not or, our kitchen though. or the African Ephesi kitchen. Today I'll be tutoring you with what I call Orishirishilize African yam. Mm -hmm. yam. So a lot you, of persons have been asking us to prepare yam during our live stream. They mm -hmm. said they want yam, yam. Oh, we and just to tell you that the Egusi episode is going to be a live stream. You're going to know the health benefits. You have a doctor uh from abroad that will be joining on on live stream. So mm. we're going to uh, tell you the time. So you're welcome today to Cetro's Love Family. If this is your first time, don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell. I want to say thank you to all that have been liking, commenting, sharing, tweeting, retweeting. Please don't stop. A big thank you goes to all our patrons and supporters on this channel. And you can actually be part of our patrons so as well as $3 per month. The patron link is in the description box below. And we want to say please press on CC for closed caption. So this is African mm. healing food, natural food. Well, we, what do you want to do? You want to prepare yam in how many ways? I'm, I'm going to be preparing different species of yam for you. <laughs> Number one, we're going to be preparing yam porridge. And we're going to be preparing normal yam, boiled yam, with assorted African garnish vegetable. And we're also going to be doing the international flakes. <laughs> so you're going to be seeing the different species of yeah, I'm going to So cook can it. you do um, a tour around? Let me just guide you on the orishi rishi. In Africa, when we say orishi rishi, we are talking about what different, different condiments, different ingredients. That's the meaning of orishi rishi. Um, here you have the stockfish, you have your tomatoes, you have your crayfish, you have your onion, you have your bonnet, hot bonnet pepper. Um, this is ginger and garlic. And garlic. You need you need this for this season, this COVID season. This is anti-COVID. <laughs> then this is what we call spring onions. Then this is what we call palmer. Palmer. The meaning of this is hide, cow skin. <laughs> so this is what we call the saint leaf. This is what we call the utazi leaf. Then we have the pumpkin leaf. We have this garden egg. This is called locust bean. Touch bene pepper. Then. Uh, this one that you are seeing, I have already uh, mentioned it already. This helps your immune system. It fights a whole lot of all this uh, flu, blah, blah, blah. And this is what we call Ekbo Kupa Garisobo. This is what we call palm oil. Palm oil is not like the type of oil that you are saying uh, cholesterol, cholesterol. This one is natural from the palm tree. And it gives, you, it gives your body the support, the necessary support that it needs. Of all the ingredients we have here, there is only one area boy that is here. This is it, the pomo. It has no nutritional value. But in Africa, it just helps you to feel like you are chewing something. It's like chewing your leather bag. <laughs> you understand what I mean? When you see people eating this, this is pomo. This is just the back of cow that has been dried and, you know, has been smoked and the like. So this is just to give you the. This is just to help you feel like you are eating something in the face of poverty. What this one is just trying to say: if you cannot buy meat, chew your bag. See, my wife, she doesn't even know that it doesn't have any nutritional effect because whenever she takes it, she thinks that she's in London. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't have any nutritional effect. And why are people now eating it? It is just to engage yourself that you mm, go better. <laughs> <laughs> Right and over here, these people did not pay me, so I don't want to advertise for them. This is for and time. Seasoning. Yes. Um, and for your information, um, there's another seasoning I'm not showing here because they did not pay me to. It's a normal seasoning. So without wasting time, what we're going to do is that in five minutes we are going to prepare this food. One, two, go. going to do at this point in time as a professional cooker like professor central cooker you open your pot if you like don't open your pot 
He opened me a photo. First thing I always like is to ginger the swagger. And to ginger the swagger, I pour in my pepper. This is necessary, especially in this season where there is flu, there is cold everywhere. You need hot scotch bonnet, hot scotch bonnet pepper. You need scotch bonnet pepper to give you that hot sensation. Then you have your onion to come in. You have this onion. I'm a fan of onion, so I take a whole lot of onion. So then you mesmerize it with this your your common. It's like taking your leather bag and chewing it. I'm going to be using um, a particular pepper here, yeah? already granulated pepper. This is not an advert for any of these brands. So, you have this in place. Then these tomatoes. At this point in time, at this point in time, I have my seasoning. It is called porridge because what you are actually preparing is what we call in Africa concussion. So everything that you are using to prepare this food, you would have put, you have, would have inserted it. <laughs> You could have put everything together so that they will steam together. At this point in time, if you have your chicken water or meat water, you can pour it in so that it gives it additional flavor. So at this point in time, you have a drop of your fish, your stock fish, just like so. This gives it one kind of a tingling, tingling taste. Then you have your crazy fish. You have your crayfish here, like so. Then, you have your locust bean. In Africa, we call it iru. You have your locust bean. Then, at this point, you ginger your swagger. <laughs> you put your ginger and garlic, just like so. So at this point in time, you just add your oil. This is palm oil. It's not like the other already worked on oil. This is natural oil from the palm tree. So you can see how this is. You can see how this is. So you just leave it, allow it to simmer. So back to our porridge. At this point in time, um, the porridge is almost done. So all you just need to do here now is to add the greenness of nature, our lead. The pumpkin. Then you have the scent lead. And you have the so please take note whenever you are adding the green light as in the veggie you will not stay long you not allow it to stay too long on on fire so that it doesn't kill doesn't kill the nutrient so all you just need to do is cover it up For the next few minutes, uh, I'll be preparing another sauce here. The particular name for this sauce is just African pepper sauce. African pepper sauce. In this African pepper sauce, we borrow leaf from some uh, English style of cooking. But here, we introduce the onion. The reason why you introduce the onion here is for you to give it a kind of paste to change the taste, the aroma of the oil. Please note that you do not need too much oil. You just need a little fry your stockfish at this point. So with what we have here, all you just need to do is to introduce, I always like introducing pepper first. 
to ginger your swada. At this point, introduce your tomatoes. Most of you that are watching this, you are salivating already. This is Zaya Seto, the most African Yekebu international husband. And you are welcome to my pepperoni chicken kitchen. So at this point, you had your green, green pepper. You add more onion to taste. Then you have your carrots. These are called carotino, carotinoid complex. I'm sure some people are now hungry. Then you have your spring onion. So for those of you in the States, I know that you like something like this. You have your ginger and garlic. Add your crayfish. Then I had my seasoning. At this point, I had my thyme. Then I had my curry. Mix them together. Mm, you can perceive the aroma right from the comfort of your room there. So at this point in time, you just add salt. Always make sure that your salt is not too much. So to all our subscribers in, in Indian, Asian Tiger and the likes of them, I tell you, this is zit. This is the kind of uh, sauce that Michael Jackson saw and he shouted this is it. So we are set with this. This is ready for dishing, just ready to enjoy. I'll quickly move to the other two sauces, uh, yam sauce that we are preparing. So at this point, all you just need to do is to add your palm oil to this. The already matched garden egg. So once you have it this, all you just need to do is to pour in your onion, then put in your pepper, then you add your tomatoes. As you are doing this, you are about adding the African game changer, which is locust green. This is the perfect treatment for your highball. You'll be seeing clearly, crystal clear. You'll be seeing crystal clear on a DVD level, HD level. Then you have the African panla, panla fish. Look for what they call panla in your language. Stockfish. Then as usual, all the leather bags that you are carrying, you can change them to this momo. Momo has no nutritional value. But here in Africa, momo happens to be one of the best food condiments. Then you add your seasoning to taste. I'll be so surprised that I cook on the reverse sometimes. I'm adding salt, lastly. Just a pinch of salt. Oh, this is mm. Wow. So it's not every time you'll be worrying yourself with all this fear they are mongering around. Just treat yourself with the best food you can lay your hands on that you can afford. And forget about all this Colombia dry food. Natural food, natural eating. Mm -hmm. So which one are we going to start with? Mm. These are uh, seven yam in three different spices. Try these out on your spouse and you'll see the reaction. Okay, this is the local uh, African uh, recipe yes, spice. Yes, we it's called garden egg stew. Mm. I think I want to start with that because it's really, it has no cause there. Mm. Mm. 
Také mm. guafalovi. Mm. 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 No, as you are watching us, we are eating it to talk. <laughs> so please, just get a cup of water and be sipping. Try mm. to get natural things like this to eat so that you leave all the knock all this uh, just joints and all the likes. Mm. And that's what nature has endowed on us in Africa. You can never go wrong with this kind of food. It builds your immune system. Against Colombia dry spots. Mm -hmm. mm. Ah, you want to drink all this one? Mm. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad. We are trying to do with it. Mm. So we like to move to Canola. African. Yeah, let's move to our. Which? How do we select? Okay. Now, we are going to play this African game. Tumbo, 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 tumbo. <laughs> so we go for African. So mm. uh, this is our medicinal. You have the otaziri. Mm. That is, we eat real good food, mm. healthy food. Mm. 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 It has a little bitter taste, and that's the healing effect in it. Mm. I cannot come and feed myself. With Colombia Jackpot. So, without talking too much, at least I've been able to impress you and to convince you, not to confuse you, that Mr. Seto knows how to cook more than most females in this world. <laughs> I think because so that this video will not be too long, let us move to the final edition. This is the point where international dishes. Combines anointing with local professor. That's Professor Seto the cooker. Mm. Mm. This is a blend of this is a blend of local and international dish by Mr. Seto. Mm. I want to tell you wow, wow, issues. My children said I want more. The sauce is really interesting. I mm. 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 You'll be feeling Yeah, yeah. Some more fun of your feet. Mm. And this is highly nutritional. Mm. Mm. You will be seeing more of my recipe. So, in case you find this video interesting, I you want me to prepare another. African dish or international, or international African. dish. Kindly comment below. And in case you try this at home, I would like you to send me a short video of this. I promise you I will include it on our channel video. And tag on us Instagram. on Instagram. And your life will not remain the same again. This is that Seto and my romantic. So it's been wonderful today in Cetro's Kitchen. Mm. Yeah. Huh? Watch out for the next episode of Cetro's Kitchen. It's going to be a live stream. We're going to have uh, Dr. Mitchell joining us all the way from the United States. United States. And we're going to be cooking here in Africa. She's going to be joining from United States. It's going to be a powerful live stream. A goosey soup is the contest. You are going to see all the health benefits of a goosey soup. How you can stay healthy with real African food. And